the, I'll actually share the second and third readings. Um, the second reading comes from the Gospel of Mark, and then the third reading is another one from Thich Nhat Hanh. It's from his book, Going Home, Jesus and Buddha's Brothers, and it's almost a commentary. It's almost a biblical commentary, or it is a biblical commentary, I'd say. Um, scholars, biblical scholars, uh, most of them recognize the Gospel of Mark as the earliest gospel. And, uh, and this is actually a reading from chapter one of Mark, so we're pretty early on here. Mm -hmm. I don't invite the bell to sound just to put myself in a space for the reading too. The Gospel of Mark, chapter one verses 9 through 13. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descended like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts. And the angels waited on him. reading from the Gospel of Mark. And Thich Nhat Hanh writes in Going Home. Jesus Christ practiced meditation. When John baptized Jesus, he made it possible for the Holy Spirit to be born or manifested in Jesus, the human being. Then Jesus went to the mountain to spend 40 days in retreat. He practiced meditation and strengthened the spirit in order to bring about a total transformation. Although it's not recorded in what position he practiced, I am sure he did sitting and walking meditation. <laughs> and that he practiced looking deeply, touching deeply, and nourishing the energy of the Holy Spirit in him. Maybe he sat under a Bodhi tree like the Buddha. <laughs> 